I had stated at the beginning of the meeting, and it's the prerogative of the chair, that I would only take people who had signed up on this sheet, Mr. Susco. My Susko's. name's on the list. On here. Number 50. Number 50. <laughs> so, that was, the the that was the sheet on top of the podium when I arrived. You have the rest of the sheet? You gave me the one that had names on them. I gave you the ones that had names on them. I'm going to, I think it's difficult for me to know that there's a name on it that's on the back sheet. That was the sheet that was on the top when I arrived. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Thank you. Actually, these sheets, uh, Mr. Susco, I, I, I just need to say this for the record. These sheets were stapled together and they were not folded. So therefore, this sheet was on the bottom. This is what was opened. Here. That's, that, th you this can is believe it. me or not. I don't. You, but that's you okay. choose not to. You can speak. Uh, I timed this two and a half minutes. Yes, uh, Susco, Steve Susco, 754 Bridge Road, SUSCO. My comments this time include myself. I should have prepared you. I tend to be a passionate man from my petunias to my politics. But regarding my not so great behavior last week, I offer an apology. I tried to fit something in in the beginning not planned, which caused me to exceed your limits by a minute or so. My voice raised, trying to speed through my comments. So anyone deserving, wanting, or needing an apology, you have mine most sincerely. If you need it personally, please step forward or contact me. Three minutes, four minutes, condemnations of my comments, demonizing me personally, trying to control political choice, ban attempts at banning political discourse. It really is a tempest in a teapot. I think we need less timing and more listening. Why does simple words spoken from a pa piece of paper upset and scare you so? Facts, opinions, questions. I raise my voice to make my point and you clamor its anger. No, it's heartfelt disgust. I have many stories to tell, not to berate and not for sympathy, but rather to illustrate and demonstrate by recent actual personal examples the workings and doings of our government in order to affect informed judgments of its performance, something I believe we should all be doing now. To date, I have only scratched the surface of this one example. I don't believe you get it. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about how I see you govern. My speaking and verbal skills are limited and lacking, and I apologize. When fellow citizens hear these stories in detail, they seem to a person to reach common conclusions and judgments. People out there sure seem interested and open-minded and able to make good judgments if informed. One final point regarding Mr. Narkowitz's comments that my story is nothing but a cheap political statement. This is insulting, but also symptomatic ask, of our you. officials' inability to handle criticism. And then please, uh, finally a request. Next week, October 1st, I will be celebrating my nephew's wedding. I will not be able to attend the meeting. I therefore request my Ward 1 counsel and Ms. Carney to please read my prepared comments. And of course, they will be informational only. Thank you. And I can't miss a Newport wedding. Thank you. Uh I'm going, to make, I'm going to make a note for the next meeting that I'm going to ask people to sign the, the list in order. Just a note. I took out the top two sheets, which were the ones that had names on it. The last sheet was where Mr. Susco's name was. A little bit of a setup. So, Madam Chair, yep? I just wanted to say for the record that I, I am unaware of the statement that Mr. Susco referred to, and I made no such statement. And I, uh, you know, if someone can point out in the public record where I made such a statement, uh, I would be willing to look at it, but I made no such statement. Okay. I'm happy to talk to Mr. Sussman.